Hello friends, today we are going to discuss on the grade 2 science chapter 10, air. Fill in the blanks. Air is all around us. All plants and animals need air to live. Air is a mixture of gases. Vapor is a gas-like substance. Tiny living things that cause disease is germs. We cannot see or smell air. Wind helps sailboats to move faster. Wind helps to fly hot air balloons. The wind carries away the seeds of some plants to a new place. Storm causes a lot of damage. Wind that moves gently is called a breeze. Wind that moves very fast is called a storm. Moving air is called wind. Answer the following questions. What is air? Write the things present in it. Answer. Air is a mixture of gases. The things present in it are water vapor, smoke, dust particles and germs. How is wind helpful? Give three examples. Answer. Wind is helpful to us in many ways. The wind helps us to sail boats, fly kites, dry wet clothes, etc. What makes the air dirty? Answer. The presence of smoke, dust particles and germs make the air dirty. What do you mean by wind? Moving air is called wind. Name four things you can see moving in a storm. Answer. The four things we can see moving in a storm are trees, plants, roof of kacha houses, wood, etc. Name few things for which wind helps us. Answer. Few things for which wind help us are to dry the wet clothes, to fly kites and gliders, to fly hot air balloons, etc. What do you mean by breeze? Gentle moving wind is known as breeze. What do you mean by storm? Very fast moving wind is known as storm. How is a storm harmful? Give three examples. A storm is harmful as it can cause a lot of damage. Example, they uproot trees, they blow away the roof of kacha houses and they damage crops even. Now we will see the reference material on the chapter wind. You can go through this. Wind and its properties. Wind has direction. Wind make things move in one direction only. You have seen flags moving in one direction. At any given time, wind blows from one direction only. There are some tasks which the children and parents can do together. Observe what happens. Tick the correct choice. Does a ribbon fly? Yes or no? If the ribbon flies towards the school gate, we may conclude that the wind is moving towards the school gate. Does this at different places in your school? What do you conclude from this activity done at different places? This shows that wind moves in a definite direction. What will happen if the wind started blowing in all direction? You have to think and write. Wind has speed. How does the ribbon move? Fast or slow? Now increase the speed of the fan. Observe the ribbon. How does the ribbon move? Fast or slow? We conclude that when wind increase in speed, the object also move with greater speed. This shows that wind has speed. We can also observe that wind of speed of wind through the movement of curtains, clothes on clothes line, leaves of trees, hair, etc. Wind has force. Stand in front of a pedestal fan with an open umbrella at a distance of 2 meters. Now slowly walk towards the fan as shown in the picture. What did you find? It is easy to walk. It is difficult to walk. The answer is it is difficult to walk. The reason for this is that the force of the wind is pushing us away from the fan. Now stand near the pedestal fan with your back to it. Start walking away from the fan. What did you see? It is easy to walk. It is difficult to walk. It is easy to walk. Hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.